Hello. I'm here with my sister and we're making a recipe. It's called Irish soda bread or cake. This is from my grandmother's stockpile. We called her Nana. Huh, Kelly? Yes, there she is. She's there gorgeous. She, she's gorgeous. So here's the recipe. I'm gonna read what you need. You need four cups of flour, one and a half cups of sugar. I'm looking at the sugar. Oh, you are? I can hear okay. you. One teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of soda, two thirds cup of oil. My grandmother, Nana, she's got a tablespoon of caraway seeds, but we've never used that. Um, one cup of raisins, but Kelly and I like cranberries better. And then one cup of sour milk. You could use buttermilk instead, but we're gonna show you how my Nana always made it. She always took a little less than one cup of milk, and then she added just a little bit of vinegar which makes like a sour milk or buttermilk. There. And it'll get kind of lumpy and curdly. Yeah. So we're just gonna let that sit there, right by Nana, right by the recipe. And if you got a, a, a screenshot of the recipe, which not, I did not at an angle. Maybe I did. Maybe straight down. And then I'll flip it over. You can always pause. Yeah, okay. Okay. So anyway, so I'll sort of read the recipe. And you can always tell a good recipe because it's really dirty. It's got... It's been charred. Charred, <laughs> it's got fingerprints, lots of love, smeared writing, everything like that. So we're gonna put four cups of flour into a pan. I already have three cups in here. So I have the... Another we're adding the fourth cup. Yeah, this is a half a cup, so... Three and a half, and then four. Notice that accurate measuring. Yes. Okay. The next thing says one and a half cups of sugar. More if you like it sweeter. So that's me. We're sweeter. We like it sweeter. Yeah. So I've got approximately one and three quarter cups. Okay. Instead of one and a half of sugar. Okay. The next thing it says, one teaspoon of salt. And we're purposely, my sister is not gonna show my face because I don't wanna be in the video. Yes. Here's one teaspoon of salt. One teaspoon of salt. We're only showing our feet. And there they are. Oh. And I'm wearing my husband's socks. Mm -hmm. That and makes then, it more homey. I know. And then one teaspoon of soda. Boink. Okay. Okay. That's what makes it rise. Yeah. So My sister told me. Okay. So I'm just going to sort of stir it all together. All the dry ingredients being stirred together. All together now. And we don't want any hate mail or anything about this video because it's the only second video I ever made. And, and my grandmother would not like that. Yeah. And we just love each other and we're just trying to make a video without... Yelling at okay, each let's other. not start crying. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so mix this, the dry ingredients together. Add the corn oil mixed with a fork or a pastry blender. So I'm just going to mix it with a fork a little bit. So here's it's two thirds cup of oil. Two just, thirds cup of oil. That's one third, and here's two thirds. Two thirds. There okay. We go. Look at that. Good job. Thank you. So I'm just going to sort of mix it up. Stirring it around. Get it mixed in there. Yep. Okay. I sort of get it started with a spoon. Huh. There. And then... Smoosh it around a little bit. Yeah. Then... Then you're going to use a pastry... What's that called? Pastry... I don't know, pastry cutter. Finger. Pastry cutter. Finger. Yeah, pastry cutter. Yeah, just sort of. If you don't have that, you're in trouble. Yeah, and it does say you do it like fine crumbs or like sand. Yeah, you keep mixing it up till you see those. Look at those little crumbly bits. It's got to be really mixed in there good and crumbly. <laughs> yeah. My yeah. sister gets to do all the work. 
Yes. I'm the videographer, yes. as you can see, and my Nana, she is the owner of the recipe. Yeah. This is a great starter recipe for all you young women out there that need to learn how to bake. Yep. Because nobody knows how to cook. And impress your partner. Yeah. You can make this. Most of the recipes on the internet have this Irish soda bread, but it's a mm, savory one, you know, not sweet. And I was looking for one that was like my Nana's, but I couldn't even find one. So I figured, hey, this has got to be on here because this is really the best way. Okay. So it says, now stir in the seeds and raisins and the sour milk. So you can see it's sort of, you know, really light Very and crumbly. crumbly. That's how you want it. So here we've got two cups of cranberries. And then my grandmother always um, had one of these when we would go visit, huh? Yeah. And Benny, who was our grandpa, he was like a pre-diabetic. And he only wanted... Um, a plain one. No, he was he was the one who wanted the raisins. Raisins in it. I don't like raisins. So my grandmother had to make one plain one that was sweet and one with raisins for Benny. Benny. So now tell her tell him what you're doing there. You I'm just sort of just sort of getting mixing the, it around. I'm just sort of getting the the cranberries, cranberries mixed in. Kind of little, you know, flour on them. That's all. Okay, now we're ready for the sour milk or buttermilk. Any, any and show how it's it. kind of um, clumpy. Okay. See how it got clumpy? It got curdly. Yeah. Yeah. It made homemade buttermilk. Yep. And I made one of these with half and half, and I just poured a little bit of the um, vinegar in there and did the same thing. So that's that. Put that in there. That makes it more tangy. So to get it started. And then I'm going to flip it out onto this board. And it's, it'll come together. It's not going to come together like, you know, bread dough, but you can see how it's starting to come together like that. Okay, it's a little bit wet. There. Takes muscles. Takes some muscles. So you could put raisins in there or... Almonds. I like chopped almonds. Yeah. You could put some um, lemon rind in there, orange rind. You could put orange slices, cut up little pieces in there. Although I don't think we've ever done that, but... I did it with muffins and it came out great. Oh, yeah? Yes. Okay. I'll put some flour here. That. Don't worry about it. Don't dump it on the floor. If it dumps on the floor, it's okay. That's half the if, if it's only five seconds, you're good to go. Yeah. Five seconds. I don't know about the coronavirus, though. We're not going to be talking about it. Hey. Okay. It, all, you, is... all you do is push it together. Just like that. Pick it up and push it down. So let's say my recipe says knead it lightly for 10 times. Okay? Just want it to sort of come together. That's probably four. Huh. Now it's coming together. Getting on my board here. I probably would just do it right on my counter, because, but you know. Okay. All right. How's that? Okay. It's looking like a, a mound. Yeah, you just get it together in a mound. Okay. It kind of mixed all in there and feels more yeah. squishy. Mm -hmm. I sort of get it into like. Uh, that kind of a shape okay you're gonna stick it in a like a, a cake pan there 
So a prepped cake yeah. pan. I sprayed it with a little bit of oil. Okay. Sprayed with oil. Yeah. And then what it says on here is knead lightly 10 times, brush with oil, uh, flatten the loaf, and then you know, cut it across. I don't usually brush it with oil. I'm going to back up in a second. I just. Uh, are you going to come this way or are you just going to do it right there? Right oh, okay. Because, yeah. you know. It doesn't matter. I just, just put a little bit of oil just on it. Put a little it. bit of oil on the top. That's how I've always done it. And rub it around. Rub it around. There it is. It's brushed. And the oil is what gives it a super crunchy top. And you want a super crunchy top. Yes. Okay. There it is. Now you don't want to smash it down into the pan because it's gonna it's gonna rise a little bit and spread out. Yeah, spread out. Okay. And then it does I, need a cut in the top. It does. That's classic. Okay. Classic Irish soda bread yes. has an, a cross on the top. Okay. So. Can we get a bigger knife? <laughs> <laughs> there and there. There's your cross. There it is. Okay. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is get ready to... Put it in the oven. So I'm going to open the oven. It's going to be at um, 350 for one hour, and then you turn the oven up to 400 for 10 minutes. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. okay. So if I put it in the oven. Thank you, Nana. Did you get it? What are you doing? <laughs> and then we're going to set the timer. Click, click, click. Click. And we'll wait for it to go ding. Okay. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> there's, there's our mouse. He's always there. Yeah. He's ready a, to cook with he's, us. He's always ready. Okay. Ding. Ding. Okay. We've made one previously. Okay. okay. So, um. <clears throat> I'm going to pull it out of the oven. Let me just rinse my hands. There's my sister's little lady with, what is that? Creeping Charlie. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to pull it out of the oven. Pretend like it's hot. So what That's what it looks eat? like. Okay. We're going to put it right over here. Don't show the counter. So I have all kinds of stuff in here. Okay. And... Uh, I didn't spray this pan, so when I took it out, it actually broke a little bit. But that's oh, a, that's remember okay. to do the pan. My sister and I ate that. Yeah, it was a tester. <laughs> so, okay. here is the uh, finished bread. Nice and hard. Can you hear? But it's got a good crust. Yeah, but super nice inside. And crispy. Crispy. And then... What I did was, I always put um, glaze on it. I think Nana did too. Yeah, she did. So being that we have a lemon tree in the backyard. She made lemon glaze. I made lemon glaze. Because, you know, cranberries, lemon glaze. The glaze is just made up of powdered sugar and some lemon juice. Yep, get it to the right consistency. Yeah, we just stick straight old lemon juice in there. Yeah. And it makes it tangy. Talk I, for I actually don't even have a lemon tree. I just use concentrated lemon juice, and it's really tangy. Yeah. You can always use lip orange juice if you're doing the orange, you know, thing. Or yeah. Orange stuff goes with um, cranberry. It's really good, too. Now, to me, you can't have enough glaze because, you know, I'm all about the sweet. I'm shooting your hand. Uh-oh. Instead of the glaze. Yeah. Oh, so you're rubbing it around. Well, I would have drizzled it all over it, but that's okay. Yeah. I mean, it's going to rub it around. It's going to dry clear anyway. Yeah. So, and then, you know, this is how. You can decorate it however you want. Yeah. So what we could do is, even though it's got wet glaze on here and it hasn't dried yet, um, I would have this for breakfast. It's like, you know, a super neat breakfast item. You put some nice butter on it. You don't have to toast it. It's sweet. It's 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 real neat inside. So 
on another thing that I didn't show you guys. Let's see if I could get it without. You just look at that and talk for a second, Kelly. Talk about what? How good it's going to be when we eat it? Yeah. Let's yeah. See. What exactly are you doing? I'm looking for something. Don't show me. Keep talking about Nana. How we come home and, you know. How we come home after swimming? Yeah. And get a chunk of bread, of this bread? Yeah. Okay, let's move along to um, what's the next phase of this? <laughs> well, we can just show you we're going to cut it, okay? And okay, get that big knife over here. Okay, hold on. <clears throat> Clean board. Oh, yeah, the mouse has to be in the picture. He's always, he's always in all of our pictures. <laughs> he's a signature mouse. He's got a nice crunch. There she goes, nice crunchy. Yeah. Nana would be proud, huh? There. Ooh, looks good. Yeah. Looks awfully good. Whoops. Okay, I, I was going to cut some pieces. I, I usually cut it like that. I like the end pieces. Oops, that one sort of got squished. Probably should use a serrated. Yeah, let's not cut the whole thing up. Probably, let's just cut yeah. a little bit of it. Because, Probably a serrated knife would be yeah, better. Yeah, I think a, a, a yeah. bread knife is better. Yeah. Anyway, see all the stuff in there? Looks pretty good. Looks very good. Mm, tastes good. Yeah. Okay, one more cut. Let's see if we can get it better. There yeah, see, that see? slice is better. Look at that. Look at that, a bread knife. See? Looks gorgeous. Really nice. Really <clears> good <throat> butter. Have a cup of tea. Okay. And that's it. That's it. Thank you. So, no hate mail. Okay. Jeez. Oh, please. Okay. Bye. Bye.